Suzy Q's fish market in Two Rivers draws people from around the state, but its day starts well before those doors open. I'm your Lakeshore neighborhood reporter Preston Stober, showing you how these fish get to your market. This is a white fish, and we boarded the Suzy Q2 in the early morning hours with Captain John Colba Jr. to catch some. A lot of a lot of thinking game to wonder where they move to and where they go, and sometimes it could be be a half a day to find them. But we didn't have to wait too long, as John and first mate Kenny netted a few dozen by the time work starts for most of us. Do you have a quota to hit, or is it just bring in as many as you can? Try to get as many as we can. Then they got the fish right on the ship. Does it become kind of second nature all the moves you got taken? I don't even, I can close my eyes and do this. The work is hard, but John knows what it means to the community. They're pretty happy because they get fresh fish every day. They come into the market. And they even have a few fans of their own. Got somebody taking pictures up there. We went out on a warm day with calm seas, but Susie Q's is one of the only year round fresh fish markets in the area. So it's not always this pleasant. What's the conditions like when you guys are out here in the dead of winter? Cold, cold. Everything is iced up, windows are iced up. Once in a while, you know, uh, I get flustered. You know, everybody gets flustered. But even on the coldest days, John's still a fisherman at heart. What's got that feeling going through your mind when you rail out a big one? I got him, I got him. And after throwing out the net five times and getting 800 pounds of fish in a day, John says, I to go home. As we hit shore, it was a wrap on a unique morning for us on Lake Michigan in a classic fishing boat. But for John, it was just another morning for a man feeding his community. Average day, same old every day. And that's it, man. <laughs> After a day on the water, Suzy Q2 returns to shore and the fish it caught that day first start in the processing room and then they officially make it to the market in Two Rivers. Preston Stover, NBC 26.